Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, the 8th wonder of the world. I am talking about a company which is a monopoly player, the share price has corrected more than 45% during this time. Please like and subscribe the channel for more updates and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. The company was incorporated in 1988. The company is engaged in the business of transportation through containerization. Over the years, the company has diversified into several container logistic activities such as container port, air cargo complex, air freight station, warehousing, logistic park, supply chain management, etc. Today, the company is undoubtedly is the market leader that has a large network of 21 inland container depot in India. Besides offering inland transport by rail for containers, the company also provides services such as cover management of the ports, air cargo complexes and establishing cold chain for international and domestic containerization and trade in India. The company has a full multimodal logistics support. The company has 16 offices. So the Container Corporation of India Limited is engaged in the business of transportation through containerization. Over the years, Concor has diversified into several container logistics activities such as export port, air cargo complex, air freight station, warehousing, logistic park, supply chain management, etc. The company's core business is characterized by three distinct activities that is of carrier, a terminal operator and a warehouse operator. So these are the three main core businesses which I have mentioned. They're talking about the company, the industry type is logistic. The market capitalization is 20,622 crores. It has a PE of 33.63. The industry PE is 32.16. Dividend yield is 3%. Debt to equity is 0.05. Return on equity is 4.18%. Price to book is 1.82. Talking about the one year return, it is given a negative 38.47%. It has underperformed Sensex by 16.66 and during the same period for Sensex is a minus 21.81 and the reasons you all know about it. Dividend paid was 0.75 per share during February 18, 2020. The company has a high beta which is 1.20 with Sensex. Talking about the returns over a period of 10 years compared with Sensex. So over the years, the returns have been negative. So the 10 year returns is the only period where it is given a positive return of 13.56%. So talking about the shareholding snapshot. So the majority shareholder shareholding is by the promoters who is none other than the president of India who having to the Ministry of Railways which has 54.799%. It is held in 27 mutual fund schemes which contribute to 8.06%. It is held by 482 FIIs which contributes to 27.18%. The highest public shareholding is Matthew's specific Tiger Fund which has 2.639% and the individual investors hold 2.31%. And the DIS have 0.38%. The non-institutional investors have 4.49%. And it is held by the insurance company which contributes by 5.09%. The percentage save of sales, so you can see the rail freight income contributes to 73.95%. Handling and transportation and income is 10.76% and export incentive activities are 5.33%. The points in favor. The company has no debt. Privatization initiatives by the government will improve the valuations. I do not approve or I am not in favor of the disinvestment in LIC. But I fully support the privatization of Conco. I believe the efficiencies will improve for the company. The cash flows are excellent over the years. The balance sheet is loaded with cash. It is a monopoly business which is almost having 70% share. The stock is corrected almost by more than 45%. So the valuation is good right now. Uh, sluggish economic activity would affect the company in this quarter. But post the lockdown, the business volumes will pick up. And many corridors, I think 2-3 corridors uh, which were supposed to be operational in 2 years, it may be pushed to 2.5 years. This would benefit the company which will contribute more to the revenue. 
So post the lockdown, when the economy activity is up and running, we can expect the company to perform better. This will drive up the share price. The stock is corrected almost by 45%, so the risk reward is favorable. Long term investors can keep adding the stock slowly on further dips. I have mentioned it's uncertain times, so expect the market to go down further. So add good quality stocks on dip. Be mentally prepared if you see more corrections after buying to hold for a long term basis. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications from this channel. This content is intended to be used and must be used for educational purposes only. Please do your own analysis before making any investment based on your own personal circumstances and consult your financial advisor.